Now you've certainly heard about the importance of vitamins and minerals, but what exactly are vitamins and minerals? They're essentially defined as substances that your body needs to function properly, but cannot make on its own. So this means that you need to obtain them by other means, typically through diet. Vitamins are organic substances and minerals are inorganic substances. Examples of vitamins that you need are mostly defined by letters. There's A, B, C, D, E, K, with B having multiple subtypes. You've probably heard of vitamin B12, but there actually aren't 12 B vitamins. There's only eight. And that's because originally sometimes vitamins were discovered or thought to be novel, but then later discovered to be other chemicals or other vitamins that have already been discovered by another scientist. So for that reason, there's no vitamin B4, for example. Another interesting fact about the B vitamins is that several of them have much more famous names. For example, folate or folic acid is a vitamin that you need, but it's also technically known as vitamin B9. All of the vitamins have a more official scientific sounding name as well. For example, B12 is cyanocobalamin. With regards to minerals, they can be essentially thought of as inorganic elements on the periodic table. You can basically think of them as electrolytes and metals. Examples include potassium, calcium, but also lesser known ones like copper, zinc, and manganese. Most minerals you need in very small amounts and they're considered trace minerals. In the developed world, deficiencies in these vitamins and minerals are honestly pretty rare, but each one can cause specific symptoms if you develop a deficiency or an excess. Unless you have a very specific medical disorder, for the most part, a healthy diet will help you maintain the levels of vitamins and minerals in a safe range. But if you have questions or concerns, please talk to your doctor. Thanks.